Hello and welcome, my name is Ajax Post and today we're back in Transport Fever 2 for another edition of the Cinders Cup. And not only is it a collaboration, it's also a bit of a competition and today is one of the competition days. It's test match number three, our third challenge and we're all going to be faced with the same challenge. What you see here is the focus of that challenge today, it is a steel mill which if you saw Steven's setup video last week, I think it came out on Saturday, yeah, last week, uh, he will have explained what he's doing here and the objectives of this particular challenge. But I'll just go over them just in case you, you sort of missed that little bit. So we've got a steel mill. It's a brand new industry set on the outskirts of my fabulous regional capital of St Albans. Yes, in my very own region. And what we have to do for this challenge is within the period of two years, provide it with as much coal and iron ore as possible and make as much money as possible, not necessarily just from the steel, the, from the creation of the steel, from the uh, iron and the coal, but we could use that steel in another industry. Uh, we could use it over here, perhaps. Yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? A little boat route or truck. Any oh, well, it's a little route, isn't it? Except that we can't because this goods factory is not yet got operational permissions from the government. It is set to open in 1910 and we're currently January the 1st, 1900. So we can't use that steel mill. Sorry, that goods factory to use our steel. So we can't make money from the steel we produce here. But we do have a steel mill which is all... Well, a steel using factory over here, the machines factory in my sort of dockside industrial estate over here, which is already being used to a modest extent to create machines using iron ore from way over there, the other side of the river in Hetenla Hole and coal from somewhere up here. Yeah, so we could send our steel to there, but that's not the primary focus of today's sort of challenge. The challenge is, as usual, to get the most profit in the most efficient routes and achieve the best company valuation after a period of two years. So January the 1st, 1902. What we're looking for is the winner of this challenge will be judged on the value of the valuation of the entire company. So we need to get it up from 295-175-040 pounds. Whoever gets the biggest number there is the judge to be the winner of the challenge. And what happens then, if you've been following the series so far, is that that route, those routes that that person creates, will be used going forward uh, in the free play episodes, which start up next week. But anyway, I've got a lot to do in this episode. I've done a couple of tests on this, and it does take me quite some time to get it all done. So I'm not going to spend any longer going through the rules, regs, and all the rest of it. I'll mention some of those as we go through, because some of them are quite significant. The first one of which is actually that we are no longer limited to the length of our trains. There were health and safety rules in the previous years, up before 1900, where trains could not be longer than 160 metres. That is no longer the case. So we can now build properly long, long freight trains, which we might need to get as much coal and ore into the steel factory here. The problem we've got, though, is not just siting the, the station around here, which shouldn't be too much of an issue. The main issue, as it always is in these challenges, is the gradients we're going to be facing. So our steel, fa steel factory down here is around, again looking up here for the height at my cursor, is around six, seven metres, whereas our coal mines, which have been recently opened by the government, like this Calabrian coal mine here, that is up at 132 metres. We have another coal mine which we've recently opened, up here at 69 metres, and we've got two iron ore mines, they're over here. Uh, this one's at 90 metres, and that one way in the back there, 129, 130 metres. And between all of these and our steel mill, this thundering great hill. Obviously, the best route for cost for, for profit is straight line, which would generally mean going through this hill, I suppose. But I'm not going to do that. We're going to do, as best I can, is above ground rail. There's bound to be a bit of a tunnel, as we will see. We do already have a couple of ore and coal mines, to be honest, within our region, as we've seen for the steel factory. We're not using those. We have to use the newly opened Calabrian coal mines and ore mines. So let's get cracking, shall we? Let's build our station down here. My plan is to build it along here. 
but that means demolishing a whole lot of stuff around here including these roads and also and uh, yeah kind of apologies to Stephen here let's get rid of that path as well though that does leave our signalman here somewhat isolated I'll try and rectify that as we go through towards the end of the episode um, I'll try and make sure you can actually walk safely across that track if that's ever possible uh, yes yeah, Stephen has done something that I do sometimes as well and that is put fences around my stations my industrial sites and so on which is fine it looks really good except it's a real pain when you want to place things like stations because they don't like building on fences so I'm gonna have to remove all these so I can put my station in right I think I have cleared all the fences out now before I place my station down one thing I want to do and the reason for this will become clear as we go through the episode. So I want a bit of a road to come down here. Though perhaps not quite so close to the... Okay, so can we get you across there? Nice and straight will do, I think. Can I put you in like that? Just across the tracks will be lovely. Oh, you see there, yep, there's a route for the signalman, if I remember to do that. Okay, let's get our station in. We're going to need a building, we're going to need a cargo station, one of those. Make it 240 long. We'll make it just one track for the moment. Now let's make it 160, because I want to get it in here. I want to get it up as close as I can, because we've got this other industry here making tools. So I want to put you... Can I actually put you at a bit of a slant? Something along those lines? Yeah, I think that looks okay. Yeah, we can put you in there like that. Now, the main thing I want to worry about here is getting a good sort of curve thing coming out of the station, uh, going on, sort of following along parallel to the main line here. So let's get you along there. Now, what I'm thinking is this station will obviously be used for our steel mill here. Uh, but it could, and it will be used for the tools factory but it could also be used for other freight purposes coming in from this side as well so I'd like to make sure we've got room here for another platform so we may need to move this main line down a bit but I also want to ensure that we have capacity to handle through traffic along here so freight trains can go sailing straight through at high speed through the station so I'm gonna put two transit tracks through and they will be leading into the main actually if I can I start this off here it might be simpler to do there and put that in there uh, where's mid station track there you go oh that's quite nice and fast okay and then we'll have these running parallel to the uh, the, the main line anyway and I want you and I want you to cross construction not why is construction not possible don't be ridiculous there's not anything there getting in the way, is there? No, there shouldn't be. It let's me go up to there. Can I then? Yeah, it's fine. Don't know what it's talking about. Okay. Uh, now, trains were coming down from those uh, coal and ore mines up there. They want to go back up. And as usual, we want them to go back facing the right way, but without flip-flopping in the station. So what we could do is build some kind of Spetskera kind of some kind of Y using the Spetskera station mod. Uh, say perhaps go around that way, then reverse out that way. But what I'm thinking is again, kind of future proofing. Is it might be better if we had a loop, which might give us more flexibility. So it's kind of probably cost us more in the short run, but it might be better in the longer run. So let's take this track over here I'm probably gonna have to delete bits of that road Wait, those trees are in the way I'm um, sorry go 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 they, they will interfere with the smooth running the safe operation of my train line so we have to get rid of those don't why, why is it doing that don't do that right you're done okay so let me pull you out here that's good uh, actually we'll just go to there and there now the trains coming down from the mines are going to be fairly long and 
There's not going to be that many of them, so I don't think I'm going to need a dual platform here. So we could do this all as one way operation. Let's get that over there. So we'll just put one track on the loop. Uh, 57. Okay, 50, that'll do. That will do. Okay, let's spin you round here. That's not quite that close to the steel mill. Okay, that's good. And you're running flat, apparently. That's excellent. And along here. Good. Uh, oh, we, right. Need to make sure we don't clip the edge off the this tools factory. Okay, let's, let's do something like that. I think we're clear. And we've got room then for a, a counter track going the other way. Two tracks. Uh, there you are. Like that. And, oh, yep, that looks okay and flat. We've Okay, and we're going to want to have this joined back up with the main line. And bring you. Uh, we're traveling on the right, aren't we? Yes, so you need to be on that side. Reasonable speed. That's looking good. That looks reasonably flat. I'm okay with that. That is excellent. Right, we'll run you a bit more along here. But we're going to leave them there for the moment and we'll have a look at where we want to place our stations up here to collect the iron and coal. Now we've got little bits of track and stations around this coal mine here. We also have around this far ore mine up there. And what I'm thinking in fact is putting my main station here for this coal mine here. Uh, we're going to do that here, uh, but it's not just going to be a simple station. It's going to be a full track. I've just realized something I didn't do down here, and that's make my station longer. We'll do that in a second. We'll get this. <laughs> there's, there's so much to this little plan. Me trying to keep it all in mind at this, all at the same time is a bit of a struggle for me. There you go. So we're going to take you. We're going to place you a little bit away from the ore mine there. Ooh, that's reasonably cost effective. Less than 800. That, that will do. Good. And the reason we're going to have four tracks here is because it's going to be collecting the ore and indeed the coal from over here in one place. So we're going to have one route collecting iron ore and coal from these two mines up here. And then they'll gather there at a exchange a transfer station and then we'll have a separate route bringing everything down to the steel mill here i had originally planned with having separate routes for the coal and the iron ore directly into the steel mill but i thought i don't know that might work it was reasonably profitable to be honest but i think i like this solution better anyway we want this station to be bigger uh, so i'm going to configure you i'm going to make you bigger this way There. Yeah, I think that's right. Okay. And platforms. Cargo platforms. Here, here, and here. And we ought to do the same for our other station down here. Which means. Yeah, fiddling with this. Get rid of all this. Oh, there goes a little bit of money wasted. Hopefully, not too much. And we want to configure this station. Uh, you're 160 at the moment, yeah. So I think. Put you in there. Will 200 be enough? No, let's make it longer still. The, the only trouble there we're making it this long is that we're running out of space here to put my, all my tracks in. <laughs> so, mmm, we shall see. Put you in there, you in there. We, oh, I think we've just about got space, hopefully. Let's bring. No, you're not going there. You're going, going there, and then there. Good. Ooh, I think we can. It's a bit of a. Uh, it's a. No, no, that's too tight a turn. Even if, even if we took that track back, I'm going to have to move the main line. One of the other things we can do. One of the new rules. We can adjust and tinker with any of the existing Calabrian infrastructure that we need to. 
as long as we don't cause any long-lasting or significant reduction in their efficiency, profitability and operational success. So I think we should be all right with that. I want to let's take you back as well. I want my track, because my track in St Albans is obviously the most important. So I'll take you to there. That's a bit better, 50. You ought to slow down, I suppose, when you're going through a station, if you, even if you are going straight through. And it will have you. Why are you doing this collision nonsense? May I do that? And then connect up. So can I take you, Calabrian? No, you're going down here. Now, I can't make you go any slower than 62 miles an hour because that would interfere. Oh, it's still 75 all the way through. Back up there. Oh, went down to 71 there. Never mind. Once we get high speed tracks, it won't be an issue. Let's track. Them. Yeah, that's that's high speed all the way through. We don't have a problem with that. Yep, the main line shouldn't be affected at all, but we are missing a signal along here somewhere. Uh, let's say there. Do we want one on this side? Yeah. There you go. So going to this station here, the main issue we're going to have is getting from that great height all the way down here. Now what I've determined is if we can get down to around 90 meters high, somewhere around here, then we can actually get up from here without having any issues with really steep slopes, which the game doesn't like. So can we do this? Now let's take that around there. And that's telling us we don't... See, that's 100 metres. Oh, that's 88. That's good. That is excellent, in fact. If we do that, we should be able to do this. And... We do have, and I'm not getting any bridge collisions either. That is awesome. But what I want to do is use one of the funky new bridges that we now have available to us uh, on here. So rather than that stone bridge, which will limit us going forward in terms of speed. So we've got a vast array of new bridge choices. <laughs> so rather than get lost in all these, I'm simply going to go for the first one we can see, which is a really nice but wide span bridge. So that looks really cool. And the green kind of matches with the decor, <laughs> doesn't it? With the forest, the, the yeah, all the woods around here. So I'm okay with that. So let's say going down to 88, that is splendid. What's the slope? The slope says 37. That looks reasonable, doesn't it? Okay, so if we do that, okay, we need to come up from here somewhere. Now I did, when I was planning this, spot a perfect location for the beginning of the ascent and that is to do with a couple of signals along here oops let's do come out here signal two and signal one so if we can start ascending from around here somewhere we should have no issues connecting with that track up there coming down so let's get our track along there so, uh, along here The only trouble is we are running very close to that road. Uh, oh, I, need, I need to check where's, where's signal two. That's signal seven. Signal two is this one here. Okay, might be better if I came this way so I, I didn't go sailing past it or... Oh, hang on, what's this? What is that? That must have been part of the previous tunnel viaduct system. We don't need that. Get rid of that. I'm sure nobody, nobody will mind. Not even the government. They'll never know. Okay, let's bring you along here. There we are. Done. Okay, so can we come up from here and join up with this track here? Bridge pillar. Bridge pillar. What? Oh, we've got a bridge here, haven't we? But I'm not sure if... An embankment won't work, you silly man. Uh, what about... That looks good, doesn't it? That, that brightens up the landscape. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah I'm, I'm good with that. Okay. 
Oh, one thing I didn't mention, I've just noticed as well, um, we've got a 30 million budget on this. The government has once again taken away all the profits our four regional uh, governments have acc accrued over the last, uh, how many years it's been since the last free play episode. <laughs> Oops, should, should have done my research. Um, so taken that away and given us 30 million to spend. But obviously as all the regions are basically profitable at the moment anyway, uh, that's not an issue. We should uh, recoup all that as we play through. Right, that looks all right, doesn't it? Yeah, we're not getting any bridge pillar collisions. No, let's bring you on down. I was, I did think when I was planning this, I, I don't want to do another episode of huge long tunnels, hiding all the inadequacies of my track laying. But here we are. This is what we've got. I'll have this funky bridge going across here. What? No. Absolute. Oh. Do you know the solution to that? Yeah. Get rid of the road. I will put these roads back in once we've got everything set up and we're making money. Honest God. Oh yeah, the thing about the budget. Why did I mention that? Because 30 million is actually a reasonable amount to do this work but we need to be careful we've got enough left to actually buy trains there you go that's that done uh okay now our trains coming up from the steel mill sorry going down to the steel mill coming back up they will need to turn around somewhere to make sure they come out of here facing forward we've got a loop at the steel mill end i don't think we can do a loop here really because it's again we've got the river we've got the hills that would be awkward so what I'm planning on doing is putting some sort of Y effect in here a little bit skier kind of station up here where the trains can pull in and then back into the transfer station here he said that should work and they're coming up on the right hand side there so we can get this down here somewhere not too expensive. Okay, I think we can do this. So let's build uh, Spitzgera. Again, it's going to need to be reasonably long, say 200. Actually, no, let's put the track in first. That's the best thing to do. Uh, we're going to want to come in. Uh, I, oh, we've got this. The thing is, if I put track coming in from the Spitzgera here, what that's going to do is put barriers right across the track which the game doesn't mind the game doesn't mind at all trains can drive straight through that but it does look awful in terms of the aesthetics and the re realism of what we're trying to do here oh, we're gonna, no, okay we're gonna have to move this forward don't delete anything not yet that's it we're gonna configure this we're gonna move this back in fact so we've got a bit more space here to put some track in so we can get a junction it isn't a lot of space is it but it does mean we're gonna to have to make this longer this way let's turn that around so we can see what we're doing there you go and a bit of a platform pack cargo platform uh, we'll put it on both sides that's fine a little asymmetrical station that's good we're okay with that and if we know this is now ordinary track so coming in here, like so, like so, that's good. Can we get uh, what I'd like to do? Can we run it along there, like that? And then... no, it's too close, isn't it? Oh, bother. Are we going to have to remove this? Get rid of that road. Yeah, let's, um, yeah, we're going to have to build this out a bit more. We are spending quite a bit of money already. I want that to be embankment, really. But we've got that road there. Okay, let's take the road out. Nobody needs it just yet. So we can do that. Make that embankment. Yeah, and there we go. Good. So now we should be able to get across here. 
we don't need to go down that much. That'd be good. Actually, keep that a bit flat if we can, so we don't have too much of a unpleasant looking junction there. Uh, we might as well use our same bridge style. And uh, we want to get across here. That doesn't look too bad, does it? We are going to have to worry about... Can I make that... Actually, if I make that flat to there, and we might want to go up a little bit up here. Yeah. So we don't have to cut too much into the bank here for our Y station. That should be sufficient, I think. Yeah. Okay, good. Let's put our station in. Ooh, just fit. Oh, wow. That just fits in. Okay. It's a bit close to the edge, but we're going to accept it. We now need them to connect the, this coming up track. So they're coming up on the right hand side, aren't they? So somewhere along here. Excellent. Doesn't need to go terribly fast. There you are. That should be fine. Again, I'm not quite sure how long these trains are going to end up being. I mean, we could easily end up with 240, whatever, long trains. And because that's in the tunnel, I'm going to assume that that is a perfectly level switch there. That junction is perfect. And I'm, well, we will see that on the cab ride if we can get one in. Okay, so we've got that done. We need to link up to our ore mine. That's the main thing. We've got, we've got coal here, but we will have once we connect that station up to the ore, to the coal mine there. But we want to connect up to this one or that one. Let's go up there. Let's go up there. Uh, so we're going to go around here. Again, we'll try and... Okay, we're doing okay. I think we're coming out there. Which track are we on? We're on the lower one. That's the one going out. I think we should be all right. And then go along the bank here to join up. Yeah, I think we should be fine. Just trying to watch the pennies here. I don't spend too much because I'm aware that we're running quite close to having not enough for all the trains I want. Uh, don't want to. Can we go across? Uh, okay, this is the due to, I think, the invisible road mod that Stephen used to create the the creeks, the little river, riverlets here. Allowed him to be aesthetically creative. What? Why is it not letting me create a bridge? I want a bridge there. Okay, we'll, we'll go across here then. Is that going to make a mess of that road? Well, it doesn't look too bad, actually. Okay, we're going up slightly, which is okay. If we come across here... Oh, you're fine now. Okay, do we want a modern bridge or... I think the stone bridge looks good there. If it lets us, do, it does let us do it. That's fine. Good. And we want to cut across. Want to cut across that one as well. So I did that. Though I'm slightly worried that when I put the other track in, it might give me a collision. Regardless, let's do that. And across here, like that one's doing. And you need to go up to there. Bridge pillar collision. Presumably here. Oh, that's interesting. It selected that bridge. That was smart of it. Can I choose a different type of bridge? That they're all going to be the same, aren't they? Can we? Get a... Ooh. Okay, we've got that across there like that without a collision. We'll see if that works going forward. That's quite a nice looking bridge. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll do that. Then connect you up, and we're still safe. Good. Can we bring you back? Oh, I've only got 23 left in the bank. Oh, this is getting tight. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Uh, I could make that single track, I suppose, or I could remove it and start again. 
let's put a different type of bridge in there. Will that work for us? That wider span one? How close are you to the edges? You might be alright. Let's try it. No, you still don't like it. So you're alright there. But once I get out there. Okay, for the moment we're going to make that single track. We will change that once we start making money but I don't want to spend too much more money because we've still got another station to build coming out of there I want enough money to buy the trains that I want to complete this and you're done excellent okay now the thing here of course is that our trains have no way of turning around They've obviously got a loop here, which they can use to collect the iron ore and just roll straight on through. Uh, but we haven't got a way of them sort of turning around here. Uh, we could put in a bit of a Spitzkira, I suppose, here. Might be one way of doing it. But uh, no. What I want to do is connect up this coal mine here, which again is going to eat into the money I've got to spend on trains. But we're going to do that. Uh, ooh, that's a bit scary. Oh, it's in a difficult position now. Because what I want to do is run track along here to connect up with that. Is there room to do that along here? I think when I was uh, testing out this idea, that bit scary was further up the hill. So it wasn't so much of an issue. But this could be. So you're going along there. Construction not possible for road reasons. Here it is now, he said hopefully. And you're going there. Bridge pillar, no. Good. And coming up here. That is good. So we've Finally, I think this is the last bit we need to do is get you connected. Yikes, don't like that. That's a nasty curve. Can we make that better? Get rid of that, for example. Can I bring you along here without spending vast amounts of money? That looks like it costs even more. Oh dear me. Okay, let's take that down. Okay, so what height is that? That says it's going to 121. What height are you here? 94, so you do want to go up a little bit. So let's go up. Can I go up there, say? And then connect around here. Here. That's okay. Um, one of those bridges. Well, that's good. And finally, to connect up all this. Are you actually connected? You are. I think you're connected. Okay, maybe you're not. Let's do that. And along here. There we go. Okay, so we've now got all the stations I need to actually get this working. So let's have a look at creating some routes. The first route we're going to create, and we'll create this one first, because we need we need the, the inputs to the steel mill, so we'll create this one first. So this is going to appear, and this is going to be a new line, and it's going to start there, that's it, and then go here, and then come up there, and go around there. So it's a lovely circular route which has got a break in it somewhere. Why is that not going round? Because there's a break in the track. Okay, we'll leave that there for a second. Let's put earth with... Oh dear, oh dear. Sloppy track laying, my man. Sloppy track laying. Oh dear. A little bit more, little bit more money wasted. 
go. And our line still does that. Oh, is that because of the signals? That might be the signals, because we did take a signal out here, didn't we? Yep. Now let's put that signal back in. It's going to be one way. Yep. Uh, we could put it here. That's better. And a little bit of a whistle point. So we can alert anyone on that road that there is traffic coming. Yep. So that one goes round there. It goes coal mine, drop off coal, pick up iron ore, drop off iron ore. And we're done. Yes, that does do that. Okay, let's set some loading limits. Full, full load all. There is an issue with the coal mine there, which we'll, if you're not already aware, we'll discuss <laughs> in a little bit. Uh, and obviously iron ore. We shouldn't need to wait for that, but I'll set it to, yeah, whatever for that. And we're done. We do need to connect up, obviously, this. Otherwise, we'll get no coal from here. So a little bit of a road. Good. So that station definitely picks up coal. Good. And we need to name our line appropriately. We're going to call it the coal and ore collector. Because our next train, our next route, is going to be going from there and delivering the coal and ore to here. And we're going to need to signal this up so it knows how to use the, yeah, the loop. Uh, let's go back to where's SA. There you are. Let's copy that. Save me all that typing. That's that's what I'm doing here. <laughs> there you are. I'm going to name you Cold and Ore Delivery. Excellent. But you need to go around that loop. Otherwise, it's a waste of time me putting it in there. Okay, so you're coming in on that side. Signals. Signals. One way. Yes. Like that. And we'll have a signal going in that direction. Like so. And you're coming out of here. We'll put you in there. Now we could have one. A couple right here. Uh, we ought to have something on that road. Put a signal in, say that, that side of the fence. Again, another little whistle point thing. There you go. So how's the route doing now? Still not doing it. Oh, I haven't put the Y in, have I? Oh, that was careless of me. So after St Albans North, we want to go to there. It's still not liking it. It can't get from that's that signals in the wrong place, you great plonker. Right, so after that, signal can't get. Oh, no, Aldrich, it's Ald Aldrich. Let's change the name of that so I don't get confused. That is the we'll call it the mines Y. So you can do that, but what's wrong with this loop? Because it's going the oh, you plonker. Right, get rid of that. That's better. <laughs> Reckless, careless. That's what that is. Just being careless. So I'll put the signal there. Going the correct way. Okay. Now we've got routes that appear to be doing what I want them to do. We need trains. We do have a depot. We have two depots in St Albans. One going that that away. We have one here which could bring trains out onto the main freight line, which isn't connected to our stations at all. Likewise, in fact, uh, our collector route isn't connected to this route either. Well, we could do it here, I suppose, near the Y, but no, we need some extra track here, actually. So we're going to bring track trains up from St Albans. So we need them to be able to get onto the collector line. Will you let me do this? Yes. Say yes. There you go. You can do that. Oh, we might, might as well double slip that. So our depot is going to be down here. We're going to use a standard depot. Like so. And if I can get the angle right. Uh, 20 grand. Looks good. 
bit of track work. That looks fine. Get out of the way, tree. That looks acceptable. Uh, we'll put a signal there, just in case. That's good. Let's get our trains then. We're in 1900, we haven't got electric or diesel, so it's going to be steam. And we'll sort these by power, I think. And the ones we're looking for are down here. So, 400, 40, yeah, they're all a bit pitiful. Until we get into the 10 wheeler, 550 kilowatt power, and the A35, 1000. The only dip main, the significant difference here, which might be of concern to us, is the tractive effort, where the ten wheeler has more tractive power than the A35. But I don't think I've got any particularly onerous, st steep slopes on uh, on these routes, so the tractive effort shouldn't be a major issue. But then, and then again, the A35 is that much more powerful. But that much more expensive than the 10 wheeler. So talking 600, 620,000 a year compared to 340. So it's almost twice as expensive. But I think that power, they go the same speed, will be the clincher for me. So we're going to buy you. And what I'm going to do actually, I'm going to make them. Uh, we'll make them a lovely bright Ajax Post Orange. So we want our cargo wagons. I don't need sorting by power. We're going to, whoops, don't drag things unnecessarily, man. Uh, gondolas, so we've got you 50 at 8, 50, 12, 50, 12. What's the difference between these two? Ooh, okay, so the shorter one, which means we could have longer and more capacious trains, actually weighs more. I'm going to go with the way less, which allows our trains to pay less attention to the slopes. It makes it easier for them to do the slopes if that becomes an issue. And they'll be bright orange. Oh, why not? Uh, we'll put... Actually, I want two of these trains. Oh, I can afford. Oh, that's, that's good, isn't it? But we'll take it down there because there's other stuff I want to do quite quickly to make the most profit in this particular challenge. So we'll take that down, so we'll buy those two for 20 odd million. We'll set you off on the collector line. There you go. And this one, we'll need the reversing wagon on. The collector doesn't because it's got two loops at either end of its route, so it should be fine. So we'll modify you, and then you can go on to the delivery line. Excellent. Uh, we're going to need more signals when I put more trains on, but we're not going to need to do that, I think, until they are, after their first delivery, by which time we should be making money and I can afford to put extra signals in. Oh, this needs to connect up to the steel mill, which it doesn't at the moment. Yikes. Good job I spotted that. <laughs> uh, we could actually have... Actually, let's spend a bit of money. So everything is connected there. Let's get our trains rolling. First of the collector is going out first, which is good. Oh, and we already have coal waiting. And iron ore waiting. And this one over here. Coal waiting there. Awesome. Oh, I'm already in debt to 1.5 million. Okay, we'll have to roll this forward a little bit to get some money. And we can complete the routes that I want to complete this challenge. Right, we've got one million, so I'm going to pause it again. What I want to do, I mean, this will work and be quite profitable. In fact, very profitable, getting the coal and ore into the steel mill. But I think we can make even more money if we can connect up this 
station here, or this steel mill rather, more precisely, to this to a industry that uses steel, like this machines factory over here, which is currently running a bit short of steel because delivery of coal for some reason. I do need bigger and better trains. Yeah, when I left my free play episode, I, I think I was a bit short of trains on this coal route. Uh, so yeah, I've got three. They need to be bigger. We were limited to 160 meter length trains. So we might get more coal in there to, to bump that up. I think to make the best use of uh, this machines factory, we can get steel there. And the way I'm going to do that, we could do it by train. We have got a link over the water there. We've got this, this funky bridge, so I could connect that in. Trains are expensive though, so we're probably not going to do that. I could do it, do it by truck. Yeah, we have got roads here which go across. We could have trucks, but trucks are slow. So I'm actually going to be using boats to do this. We've got a dockside here, which already connects to these industries and these stations. So let's create a bit of a dockside down here. A large one? Yeah, why not? Let's go large. Put you in here. I could connect you Ooh, like that. So you could connect directly to the stations and the industries, which is exactly what we want. So if I put you there, actually I want to put you, let's get that road. I want that road to go along here a bit. Can I do that? What do you mean not possible? What do you mean, what do you, what do you mean not possible? Now, you may be aware that there is a new update coming to Transport Fever 2 in November, I think it's scheduled. I'm not entirely sure about that actually, but it's scheduled for a little bit later in the year and there's currently run a beta running of that which you can gain access to, uh, which does allow roads and tracks to snap more intuitively together. That looks a bit low, but I think we might be alright. So this this whole operation might be a bit simpler. Why did I cancel that? Do that. That's fine. Can I now put the dock in? Yes. Almost exactly where I want it. That will do. Oh, can I afford ships? <laughs> i got 314 left. Ships aren't expensive, so this shouldn't be a big deal. But I do want a route. So we're going to have a new line. What it's going to do is going to take the steel from there to here. Now we'll use a different colour so it's clearer what we're shipping. That should show up reasonably well, yeah, on water. Not doesn't work quite so well on land, and we could alternate that as well. We will have two loading docks or yeah uh, on this dock side here. Um yeah so we'll hope so we can alternate both ends. So let's have that and that is going to be taking a full load will wait something like that will do and we'll be loading steel I'm loading everything and this one we will load machines we have no way of getting the machines into town just yet but we'll work on that once I get some more money in the bank okay and we'll call this one call it the steel machine exchange good so yeah, it does just does appear in the in the list together with the others, so they're easily findable. Uh, do I want a boat on that right now? A boat will have to wait because we're not going to have steel for a little while yet. But how much is a boat? We'll start with a small boat. Oh, that's too expensive. Okay, we're not going to do that just yet. We need more money. Okay, 1.5 million. Can I make this dock bigger? I want to rename it as well. Call it the city side dock, as opposed to the one over there, which is St Albans. Oh, we, I'll rename that one as well. Actually, I think. Okay, and I can figure you. What I'd like to do is put another large dock on here. Oh, we could do it like that. We could have actually. Let, yeah, let's do that. Let's have them like that. We're going to have to remove that one. There we go. You there, and you there. And does that line still work? Yes, it does. And we can alternate you. Where we get more than one ship. Okay, we'll tidy up and do more decorative stuff once we've got some money, once things start working. Again, I'm down in the deficit. 
That's that's all. Ooh. I, I need signals so my trains can get up there. Right, I can afford signals. But right, give me a moment and I'll just put some more signals along here. Which I should have done to start with. And we will uh, see our train starting to make money. Okay, we have two trains running. Both of which are full. Uh, steel, and steel and coal, steel, coal and ore delivery going down to the steel mill has picked up a load of coal from here. Actually, there's lots of coal waiting there. And the ore train has picked up its first load of ore and is delivering that for a return of 1.5 million. Very nice indeed. Uh, we're currently in April of 1900. We have 15 and a half million in the bank, so I should actually now be able to do some more tinkering with this to get the rest of these routes set up. Did I buy, I don't think I bought a boat, did I here? No, let's buy a boat. In fact, let's buy a couple of boats. Uh, we're not gonna get any steel though for a little bit because we've only got coal coming down. So we're going to need another train. Okay, let's, let's do that. Actually, let's buy that train first. So manage that vehicle. And can I clone you? Yes. So you'll be going up there to pick that up because we've already got yeah a lot of a lot of material there to pick up. And the trains only carry 144. We'll make them bigger as we go forward. But yeah, okay, let's get that boat. Uh, your boatyard, I think you are. Let's buy a vehicle. We're gonna buy yeah, let's buy two of those. Okay, and you're gonna go on. Steel Machines Exchange. Now to bring machines back from there, we need a way of getting those machines into St Albans. Uh, so, ah, now machines is a third demand here, so it's not going to be many. 37. Okay, so where are they actually needed? One quick way of checking that is to put in a cargo stop like that. So the machines are wanted somebody here. Ah, there they are. Right, near the station. And we have got, so they're around here. And we have got, yeah, we have got this truck stop here which does that. Can deliver those, those machines. Right, so we're going to build a truck station here. ships coming in they're not carrying anything as yet obviously because there's no Actually, they might bring machines back oh yes there is machines already scheduled to come down on these boats can I turn you around you are good yeah let's rename I'm gonna rename that dock this area is called St Albans West west side as in the story yeah that'll do nicely but we're gonna need about 10 or 11 million I think to put another train on there we could probably also make we should I think also make them longer we'll do that as and when the money allows oh yeah you're reversing in there very nicely from the Y excellent okay we've got 11 million can I get another one of these trains to collect yes oh they are yeah about 11 million a piece oh I've got two oh, okay I had two million I now don't have two million <laughs> Are we getting any steel yet? Oh, we should be. We should be. Ooh, 15 is ready to go. Uh, that ship has... Oh, excellent. We are getting steel already. Right, uh, we do need to keep an eye on our capacity on our trains. We increase the capacity on the delivery trains, but I think the collectors also want increasing. Yeah, you're 
13, aren't you, for the delivery. We'll bump these up as well. We'll manage these vehicles. Edit both these. We've got eight and a half million in the bank, so I should be able to put on. Uh, okay. It'd be nice if it remembered the colour we last used. We'll put one, two, three, four. We'll put two more on each. There you go. That's two and a quarter million. We can do the same with the delivery trains as well. Take them up to 14 wagons each. Uh, so again. I think, it, I think that's the correct orange. <laughs> one, two or more of you on. One down there. So we've all got the same capacity. 2.2 million per delivery. We're doing very nicely indeed. Oh, we're carrying machines back. Good. That route's not making money yet. Machines delivered here. Could probably do with another vehicle or two on there, I think. I will put two on. There you go. Well, that's making money though. But then these, these trucks are cheap. Uh, oh, you made money. That line is making money. Excellent. So I think we're all... Oh dear. Okay, apart from the collector. But you are about to make money, aren't you? There you go. Good. That's sweet. We're looking very positive then. Do we want more trains? We can afford them. I think we do. Yeah, another another collect another delivery train at least. Uh, delivery, yeah. And we will clone you. We may even have a third collector train running as well at some point before too long. Right, what I'm going to do now, I'll do some weeding to clean up uh, my stations and the main track. Uh, perhaps add a little bit more. Oh, I need to connect the signal one up, don't I? Yeah. I'll give him a path to get to work across these roads. Right, I will see you again in, in a moment or two. And we're back. And I think I've done all the weeding I need to. So uh, our government should be uh, very happy with the condition of pretty much all my routes. I think all the tracks should be pretty much clear of uh, extraneous vegetation. Uh, there may be odd little pockets perhaps but no more than you'd expect because nature's like that it pops up in all the least expected places so that's all clear uh, I've done a little bit more tidying up I've added a new little road in here obviously this road won't last when we expand our station here assuming we do expand this station uh, that road will have to go but it does mean that uh, our signalman here and all the dock staff now have routes in to uh, to work so I could put a parking place or something up there as well, but a nice little footpath and a road cutting through and everything is looking fine. However, and the reason that we're on pause mode here is because I noticed while I was doing that and uh, just played forward a little bit, a few days, a couple of issues. Uh, not that. I have put the retaining wall up there. And um, again, it's a bit, I think probably, probably because this track is so close to that uh, to that road. The escarpment there is very steep and deep and I wasn't able to, to put the stone wall all the way down. I might have been able to do that. I'm, maybe I'm not familiar enough with how the mod works. There are a number of settings on it which might have allowed me to get that stone wall all the way down but that should protect the, uh, the track running below from any collapsing roadway. Uh, however, no, there were a couple of other issues I spotted here. Now you might have spotted this when I first put my routes together is this route here, the collector route. What I had initially when I put this line together, if we go here, is that both are coming from the coal mine up there and the ore mine from up there, they were depositing their, uh, their raw materials at platform one. And what that meant was that trains were going through, I think it was the coal train because it needed to, to, to deliver on platform one, which is this one here by the uh, station buildings, because it had to deliver on platform one, and there was no way of stopping there because of the one-way track signals, it went all the way up to Bolsover, round the loop there, and then back again to deliver coal. 
then I had to go all the way up to the coal mine back again to pick up the ore from the other end. So I goodness knows how much money I've lost because of that ridiculous mistake in routing. Hopefully, now that I've fixed it, I've got a year to go, just over, uh, they will recover enough money to enable me to make some sort of good stab at winning this particular challenge. But anyway, to fix that, what I've done is I've corrected the station assignment, the platform assignments. So coming from the coal mine, they do stop at platform two, which is straight through. And from the ore mine, they stop at platform one. But I've also made them alternates, so they should be able to, uh, to slip in wherever they are. Not that the trains are running that close together, That's, uh, that should be fine. But yeah, that's, that is very annoying, very annoying indeed. But the other thing I noticed was some very odd, let's get rid of that, that line. Yeah, this. Yeah, that's not how track is supposed to be laid. Yeah. I mean, that's part of the problem when you lay track over road, isn't it? That the road interferes with the landscape adjustment, the terrain modification of the track laying. So we're going to have to fix that. Uh, I can actually get the game running, I suppose, a little bit. Everything else seems to be all right, I think. Um, has I actually fixed the track? It, it, it looks like it has. Simply doing that. Oh, that looks much health healthier. And look how clean it is. Not a weed to be seen. Uh, we need that. We, well, we don't need that road. Well, I suppose I could put it back in. Actually, I could run it down here, couldn't I? Would that be cheaper? Let's try that. A uh, bit of a curly road. Down here. 15 to there. 25 up there. Or... could do that but that yeah that oh look at that that makes it awful or I could run it over the tunnel actually I think yeah running it down the coast here that'll be fine and then up there that'll do good at least they're connected I mean it's not obviously a major route because there was no indication that there were problems I wasn't disconnecting any two towns or anything uh, so let's have a look at this how are we doing here ah right so our delivery train is coming in to pick that up now, I've only got uh, two trains currently on the collector route. I might be able to add a... I, I can afford to add a third. Do I need to? Uh, it looks like I might. Oh, we've got loads of ore waiting there. Yeah, let's get another train on there. However, I've only got a year left of the challenge to run. So what I'm going to do, I think... A little bit of a cheaty thing, perhaps? Maybe is rather than having the trains coming up from the depot down here in St Albans, uh, there it is, I will actually create a little micro depot up here near the transfer station. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll do it here. We'll do it alongside the Spitzkira, the Y. Uh, so what we want to do, have some track, and you will come out of here, say like so yeah that's a nice speed and then run up here uh, a little Spitzkira type depot one of those it's not really cheating the game allows it so there you go okay I'll read it I will read it well I put some fences back around the steel mill yeah that's very very generous of me, wasn't it? <laughs> Ballast, that's fine. And oh, make that a slip switch. Okay. So where's the, uh, there's a depot. Actually, I don't need the depot. What I want is the train. Uh, so let's go, oh, we go the collector here. We'll manage those vehicles. We'll take one of them and clone it. And you should because you're the closest, come out of there. Excellent. Oh, that's interesting. When we came in, I don't know if you noticed it, but the previous collector train was on the other platform and was also giving me this loading speed 0.86, which is silly on that platform number one because that is a bit longer than the, the train itself. But clearly you can see here, Maybe this is an issue with asymmetric stations. Can I configure that station? I can, obviously. 
I have the tools, the techniques to do that. Can I put you in there? And does that make you... Yeah, that removes that that loading penalty. Well, that, that's odd. I hadn't noticed that before. Need to be aware of that. Yeah, I mean, if I'd put the station track up here alongside this length of platform, it wouldn't have been an issue. So where are you going? Come on, you can move on now. Can you not? Please? All mine. Good, you're waiting for a free... What the hell? What the... No, you're to live... Why are you going up there? What? No, no. Turn around. Go to the transfer, that's it. Then pick up your coal and all. Uh, maybe the platform, th oh, is, is it the platform thing? That's, no, you're on platform four. No, actually I gave you an alternate, didn't I as well? Not that you need it, to, uh, to platform three there. Very strange. So. You're going to pick up the coal and ore. Mostly coal by the look of it, I imagine. There you go. We want a little bit of ore. One wagon's worth. Good. Right, we're all going in the right direction now, I think. Right, I think we're doing okay. Uh, our ships are picking up a modest amount of steel. And possibly because of that platforming problem I created for myself. We're not getting quite so much ore here, so the steel isn't coming through as swiftly as it could, but the boats are both doing good business. 62 steel, 18 machines. That's okay. That's okay. We're keeping everything in business. You see no ore there. It's all coal. But hey, that's money in the bank anyway. So where are we? March the 11th, 1901. How are our lines doing, actually? Let's have a look at that. All profitable. Excellent. Yeah, uh, let's make that wider. So the collector doing nice money, delivery doing very good money. The delivery into St Albans, not carrying anything at the moment. We have got 24 machines coming in. And the ship route is also doing reasonably good business. Oh. Yeah, ships do still flippity flop when they come in to, to land. Uh -huh, we've got 18. Now, how many vehicles have I got on there? Four. May need more? I don't know. Uh, do I need any more vehicles, though? We're a bit late in the game. I think our balance is about right. We're June the 6th, 1901. Six months, less than six months to go. How are we doing? So the city side dock area is looking fine. Yeah, our boats... Yeah, again, the small boats choice, I think, was good here. The big boats, they wouldn't have had that much to carry. They were nowhere near full. And they would have cost me a lot more. So the profit margin would have been that much less. 25 machines coming in. How are we doing in terms of actually meeting their demand? Oh, 41 out of 41 machines delivered. That's impressive. And St Albans, thanks to me, I assume this is me here, has really grown in the last uh, few weeks, last couple of years. Good, coming in. Another 2.2 million. Lovely job. Get some more steel produced. Just in time for the ship to arrive. Okay, but we will uh, move forward. And I'll come back to you as we approach the conclusion of 1901, as we hit January 1st, 1902, and work out how well I've done in my attempt at this latest challenge, this latest test match in the Cinder's Cup. I'll see you on the other side of a sexy video effect. We have one month to go. We're at December the 1st, 1901. And I think we're looking okay. Uh, you're carrying steel, you're delivering that to here, to the dock here. And hopefully you'll be picking up, there's our nice big ships. That route's doing quite well actually, that's one of my own St Albans routes. So how much are you going to earn for me? 
nearly 45,000 and you're taking back 12 machines. Again, the numbers aren't huge, but they all add up. And because we've got relatively cost efficient delivery vehicles at each stage, I think we're doing okay. The balance is about right. I think balance is a thing we're, we're okay with. Although to be honest, we could probably come up here to the ore mine, delivered a whole lot more iron ore from here. So we could perhaps have done with longer, more trains on there. I mean, if, so, if anything is going to lose me this, this competition, this challenge, it might be that. We're not getting enough ore down, or we could put it into the mine, uh, into the mill rather. But we're doing okay, I think. The trains are working, the routes are working. Once I worked out that stupid mistake I made for the first year <laughs> on my collector route, but we're all right. Uh, okay, so we're at December the 12th, 90, ooh, 93, okay, we were 93 million dollars in the bank balance. Can we end up with 100? Can I get that to 100 million? I've got 15 or so days to do it in. Okay, I do have to make sure that this is paused, saved, and the valuation judged on January the 1st, 1902. Precisely, no running over, no running under. Getting it spot on is the name of the game. And you've earned me 1.7 million, 98 million. Can we get that to 100 million in the bank balance by January the 1st? We've got a train coming in, but I don't think, no, you're not gonna get here in three days time, are you? Not quite. It's gonna be a close call though, I reckon comes hurtling down that track at 50 miles an hour. 97 million. Oh, if we can do 100, I'll be so pleased, chuffed, delighted. December 31st. Are we going to make it January the 1st? We didn't quite make 100 million in the bank. That's it. That is a final result. This is where we are. So let me have this all paused. Let me save this. Let's have a look at what we've got. Uh, we'll have a look at our lines, in fact, first. So how are we doing here? Only three million. Ooh. I would have got another two million plus if that train was here on time. Never mind. We're doing quite well. Quite well. How does that compare to all the lines on the map? Get this into balance order. Wow, we still came up top. Yeah, the collector. When I've done these test runs before, it has normally been the delivery route that comes out top with around four to five million. But this is impressive. The collector, I am first in this list across all the routes, across all the map. I've just about pipped South Bank. Which one's that? Is that a stone route? Oh, it's a ship route, isn't it? Yes, yeah, stone and coal. In South Bank, that's uh, Van Ham's route, isn't it? Obviously very, very profitable. So I've just got position one there, three and a half million, and position four with the delivery route. Just over three million, and that's it. My planks and all, which is one of my old St Albans routes. No, nothing to do with this challenge. Doing very nicely at 900,000. Actually, shall I bring those up? Just for a final sort of screenshot of how well I've done. Just showing off kind of thing. Yeah, not bad at all actually right so the final result then the score on the door oh look at that over 20 million 25 million in that quarter very profitable indeed but the result we're looking for the jam in the center of the donut four three six one seven four six seven one pounds is my total final score wow that's not bad but is it enough to beat my very able competitors. Will they have done it differently? Will they have got better results than I have? I'm really rather hoping, this is my region, St Albans, that I've got this one. But the other guys are really good too, so at this point I don't know. If you've watched all the videos so far, then you will know who's won the challenge. If not, then of course there's going to be Stephen's recap, review and awards ceremony ceremony video uh, on Wednesday and he will deliver the final result and all the uh, all the interesting takes on the approaches that we've taken. So yeah, have, look out for that. 
But that's it from me. I hope I've won. I'd like to keep these routes. I'd like to keep the orange trains. I think going forward, that is going to be my motif. Orange locomotives. Maybe even orange trucks. Orange aeroplanes. Who knows? Ajax post-coloured vehicles. That's, that's what we need <laughs> on the map. It'd really brighten it up, wouldn't it? Anyway, yes, from me, thank you so much for joining me today and watching this. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have, it'd be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. Just click on the old thumbs yuppie button. That would be wonderful. Even better, if you've got any thoughts about what I've done to achieve this result, if I should have done it differently, if you would have done it differently, are there better ways of doing it, or generally any thoughts on the game, or obviously about this whole series that all five of us are doing, the Cinder's Cup Calabrian Challenge, it'd be great to hear from you. Just drop a note into the comments box below. That would truly be awesome. And of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now, and that way you'll know when I upload another one of these, or any of my other Let's Play series. But notwithstanding that, don't forget the other chaps, Rick Boat Barrigans, Stephen Spry and Van Ham Gaming. Give them a check out as well. Look, see what they're doing. Make sure you're subscribed to them as well. They are definitely worth your time as well. And that's it from me. I will be back with you in about a month's time. Think on the 19th of October. And until then, from me, Ajax Post, bye bye for now.